As an electronics engineer, you've probably needed a constant, unchanging voltage in your circuits and experienced the use of a voltage regulator. To have a regulated and constant voltage instead of the heavy costs of the power supply, use a voltage regulator to meet your needs at a low cost. In this video, we are trying to learn about these types of circuits and their advantages and their important types. In the previous videos, we noticed that the DC output voltage of half-wave or full-wave rectifiers has some ripple that is placed on the DC voltage, and as the load value changes, the average output voltage also changes. By connecting the Zener stabilizer circuit in the rectifier output, a more stable output voltage is produced. Zener diodes can be used to produce a constant output voltage with low ripple under variable load current conditions. By passing a small amount of current from the voltage source to the diode through a suitable current limiting resistor, the Zener diode is able to pass enough current to maintain the voltage drop value. Voltage Regulator Circuit with Zener Diode In this Zener Diode Voltage Regulator Circuit, the Zener Diode is the main component that we use as a regulator. In this circuit, we must choose the resistance RS according to the characteristics of the Zener diode and the output voltage. Here, we have used a Zener diode with a voltage of 5.1 volts and wiring with a resistance of 33 ohms. When the input voltage increases more than the Zener breakdown voltage, the conduction voltage of the Zener diode reaches the breakdown voltage level. As a result, it provides the regulated output voltage. Resistor RS is connected in series with the Zener diode to limit the current passing through the diode by the voltage source. VS is applied to both ends of this connection. The cathode terminal of the Zener diode is connected to the positive rail of the DC source, so the Zener diode is reverse biased and operates in the breakdown region. Resistor RS is chosen to limit the maximum current in the circuit. With no load connected to the circuit, the load current will be zero, IL equals zero. And all current in the circuit will flow through the Zener diode, which in turn causes maximum power dissipation. In addition, a small value of the series resistance RS when connecting the load resistance RL causes more current from the diode and this value increases the diode's need for power dissipation. So care must be taken in choosing the right value so that it does not exceed the maximum Zener energy rate in no load or high impedance conditions. The load is connected in parallel with the Zener diode, so the RL voltage is always equal to the Zener voltage, VR equals VZ. There is a minimum Zener current at which voltage regulation and stabilization is effective, and the Zener diode current must always be above this value to operate under load in the Zener diode breakdown region. Of course, the upper limit of the current depends on the power of the element. The source voltage Vs must be greater than Vz. Zener diode voltage regulator circuits have a small problem, which is that when the diode tries to stabilize the voltage, it sometimes produces electrical noise in the DC supply. This is usually not a problem in most applications, but it may be necessary to add a high capacitance decoupling capacitor at the Zener output for further smoothing. In short, a Zener diode always operates in reverse bias mode. So a simple voltage regulator circuit can be designed using a Zener diode to maintain, keep constant, the DC output voltage under load, even if the input voltage changes or the load current changes. The Zener diode voltage regulator consists of a current limiting resistor RS connected in series with the input voltage VS and a Zener diode connected in parallel with the load RL in reverse bias mode. The stabilized output voltage is always chosen equal to the Zener breakdown voltage or VZ. We need a stabilized voltage of 5.0V from a 12V DC power supply, and the maximum power of the Zener diode is 2W. Using the previous Zener regulator circuit, calculate these for questions. A. The maximum current that passes through the Zener diode. 
B. Minimum value of series resistance, RS. C. Load current IL, if a load resistance of 1K ohm is connected to the Zener diode. D. Zener current IZ at full load. Connecting Zener diodes in series. In addition to producing a stabilized voltage output, Zener diodes can be connected in series with silicon signal diodes to produce varying values of the reference output voltage. The values of the Zener diodes can be chosen based on the intended application, but the silicon diode always drops to 0.6 volt to 0.7 volt under forward bias conditions. Of course, the VAN source voltage must be higher than the largest output reference voltage, and in our example it is slightly higher than 19 volt. A typical Zener diode for general electronic circuits is the BZX55 series Zener diode, which is 500 milliwatts, or the BZX85 series Zener diode, which is 1.3 watt, where the Zener voltage, for example, C7V5, for this diode is 7.5 volt, and the ref sorry, and the reference number is BZX55C7V5. 500 milliwatt series Zener diodes are available from about 2.4 volt to about 100 volt, and are usually the same size as 5% E24 series resistors. Separate voltage ratings are listed for these small but useful diodes. Transistor Series Voltage Regulator As we said, the Zener diode family works well at decent current and normally likes low current. Imagine if we could increase more current to a heavy load. It will be very efficient. In this case, the transistor is a good helper. Here is an example of an electronic filter on a negative 9 volts power supply. This is an old circuit. We may not use it. But he is a good teacher for us. The difference of this circuit is that it does not have a Zener diode. Although the power supply circuit is not set. But compared to the previous circuit, it has very little wave and noise. The base capacitor C2 is charged through the resistor R1 and provides and maintains a stable voltage at the base of Q1. If the transistor has a large gain, 50 in this circuit, it can reduce the ripple rate. The transistor increases the high current, about 1 ampere, in its output, i.e. its emitter. Because of 6.3 volts transformer is 1 amp to 2 amps, you can change the electrolytic capacitor C1, which is 1000 microfarads, 25 volts, to 2200 microfarads to have a voltage with less ripple and noise or add another capacitor in parallel. But this circuit has ripple voltage and little noise. Better we improve it with Zener diode and transistor. How does a series voltage regulator work? This is a simple series voltage regulator circuit that uses a transistor and a Zener diode. The transistor and Zener form an electronic filter. Because the load current passes through the series transistor Q1. First, connect an unregulated DC source to the input terminal. And obtain the regulated voltage at the output. The Zener diode provides a reference voltage. 
and the Zener diode provides a relatively constant voltage at the base voltage of transistor Q1. There are two interesting modes. If the output voltage decreases, the base and emitter voltage increases, causing transistor Q1 to conduct more current. Therefore, the output voltage also increases. As a result, the output voltage remains at a constant level. 2. If the output voltage increases, the emitter base voltage decreases and makes transistor Q1 conduct less. Therefore, the output voltage decreases and as a result, the output voltage remains at a constant level. The advantage of this circuit is that we can change the current of the Zener diode by the factor beta or the gain rate of the transistor and the Zener impedance effect is greatly reduced. Therefore, the output has become more stable. In this power supply you can see that we have used only 10 mA of Zener diode current. But the Zener can supply a load of about 1 amp. This is due to the transistor because the transistor amplifies the diode current by 100 times. Therefore, it is more efficient than using a Zener diode. Pay attention to these points, make sure you choose the right amount of Zener diode. Also, when the collector to emitter voltage drops to at least 4 volts to 5 volts, the transistor should work fine. To improve the circuit with the error voltage checker, see other videos on my YouTube channel. In this introduction to the training of voltage regulators, we saw that these circuits have different types, each of which has its own advantages and disadvantages. In the next tutorial about voltage regulators, we will discuss the most common types of these transistor circuits.